Bonjour, fellow cosplayers, and welcome back to my next video. Now, this video is inspired by this hairstyle that I created last weekend. And this is kind of like a drag version of Marie and Toinette. And I don't know if you guys know, but I am literally obsessed with 18th century styles. They look a bit cheesy on it. Hairstyles look a little funky, but hey, you know, that's just me. And I also. mash two things that I like together, like 18th century Marie Antoinette and drag. Um, now, I based this Marie Antoinette drag tutorial off of Goldie Starling's video. That's basically kind of where I got the idea to do this look in the first place. So yeah, you should go check her out. She is amazing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I pre-styled this, uh, uh, th uh, this wig out of a wig that I just ordered off of Amazon, and, yeah, now the dress, on the other hand, doesn't look as 18th century fashion, it doesn't have any like lace or anything, it does itch a lot. But this is the only dress that I could find at the moment if I had a very short time to repair. I had a very little prep work time, so With the chit chat, let's get into the job. All right, let's get this tutorial started with my brows blocked out and my wig cap situated. And then I am taking this white clown paint and I'm mixing that with some of my foundation. And I'm using that to apply all over the face. And if you want to know why their skin was pale, it's because that was used to cover up smallpox, uh, which was a skin disease. But yeah, it contained lead, so that made their skin worse. So yeah and yeah i'm just applying that everywhere and uh now i am using my nyx highlight and contour palette i am using that to uh do some slight contouring because i don't want it to look too flat and then i'm using the same cream paint to do a brow bone highlight on the eyes because we are doing drag today and uh yeah, we must have those highlights. Yeah. Yeah. And then I am... Yeah, then I have to take those. Then I am taking my MAC. It's the designer palette and the pink shade. And I am using that to do my eyes. As you can see, I am using that to do my eyes. And, oh, I hate this part. And, yeah. So, and also a fun fact. Uh, Marie Antoinette was not born in France. She was born in Austria. She was just uh, m married to the king of France. Yeah, another history lesson. And then I'm taking my Maybelline 24 Hours Cream uh, Eyeshadow, and I'm putting that on my eyelid. And then I am using my Marcel uh, Loose Powder, and I am putting that on the eyelids to set it. And then I am using uh, my Black Heart Beauty uh, Eyeliner to create a um, wing 
big dramatic and drag then I'm taking my flash palette and I am using that to draw on the my big drag eyebrows with the magenta shade uh yeah as you can see and then I'm taking two MAC blushes and I am using those to apply some blush or as her in her times rouge and again with this thing uh, and that didn't turn out exactly how I wanted to. Yeah, I had to redo it again, but hey, things happen. Now it's time for her famous beauty mark. Then I am using some eyelashes and mascara, and again, I hate it. Uh, then I am using that on my eyes to blend in those air lashes. I am not showing you how to do this because it's a nightmare to put on lashes. For the lips, I am taking my sephora fuchsia lip liner to line my lips and then i'm taking my sephora neon pink lipstick now for my custom my pre-made marie antoinette wig i crown her the queen of france and then i adjust it like so for final shots yeah you know what i mean and then you are done with this tutorial. All the products I use will be listed in the video description. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!